Sorry, it cans. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Today is the opening day and night at Cannes, which is the Cannes Film Festival in the south of France. Oh, wait a minute. Well, no, that happens tomorrow. I was going to say the Saint-Tropez Film Festival. So live still continues, but we have a lot of coverage coming to you for MBN News Video Web as well as the travel suite on the Cannes Film Festival. Meanwhile, we're going to have to get back to our regular news here. We're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Live, it's like, oh yeah. yeah. He had gold anywhere. He thought it was just, you know, so. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, you got the people on the, okay, here's how the Democrats are phrasing that Obama's really left-wing supporters, that this isn't just a problem with the, with the Tea Party, this is a problem with progressive groups also. They're being targeted by the IRS. And George Bush and the Republicans, they did this, and they're, 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 they're the problem is, George Bush is basically no longer president. This is an Obama problem. It happened, okay, here's how it was put this morning, specifically. This was done to benefit the re-election of Barack Obama. You know who is the head of the Justice Department making the investigation? Who? Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. This the, the, They said this was a done, something done to benefit the election of Barack Obama. Who do you think is in charge of the Internal Tip Revenue Service? Hmm. Barack Obama. Oh my who, God! Who, who's in charge of the Justice Department? Of Barack Obama. And who see who is going to profit by everything that was done to stifle communication, to, to limit the press, to uh, make certain that campaign people that basically uh, were going to donate to the Republicans against him? Barack Obama. Oh. So he yeah. has no moral authority. Basically, they said, um, uh, "Okay, this is the word that's coming out of." Uh, of many people's mouths now, words is, is the word is impeachment, Ooh. because they said that uh, he's got too many things. They're trying to bury Benghazi with the other problems, but it, Benghazi's not going away because they have been hiding witnesses for eight months now, hiding them. Oh, they haven't. You can't hide witnesses. They've been subpoenaed oh, by geez. the feds, <laughs> and so uh, he, 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 they said everything that Obama is doing is wrong, and he's he basically. Uh, we're going to keep this up. They keep saying he reminds you more and more of what Ron Burgundy, uh, a character that was played by Will Ferrell, because he really looked great on camera, had a great smile, and when the teleprompter was gone, he was toast. Mm -hmm. And a trio of troubles threatening Obama's second term. Yeah, and it just grows with every day. Uh, you know, he's got Benghazi, he's got IRS, he's got AP, is not going to let him get away. Okay. Uh, there are some people out there saying, well, if it's national security, we have to give the benefit of the doubt. You know, Bill O'Reilly, well, it's not a big deal because it's just an abuse of power. They said, no, it is a big deal. If you're not, okay, th this is the thing that I learned with the Disney company. Disney basically goes after everybody it thinks is going to cause a problem with them because if they don't, no one will. If no one bothers to stand up to an abusive president, the president will do whatever he wishes to do. Everyone knows the Internal Revenue Service. Everybody hates the Internal Revenue Service. And the president wants to put the Internal Revenue Service in charge of his health care plan. What? You've already seen. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. How he wants to put in the charge of The Internal Revenue Service is going to be put in charge. 16,000 more people uh, at the cost of like $10 billion to put them in charge of the of their health care program. And they already know they can't be trusted. Mm -hmm. Totally. So. That that part of his plan is gone because they 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 can't. It's already they start, they got a, they've been hiring people right and left, which basically are going to have to be canned, and that can't be done under the under the civil service thing. So he's screwed, folks. And trio troubles threatening Obama's second term. I know. Oh yeah. Leo cool. Obama said that's we like that one. I know. And Europe, U.S. retailers divided on Bangladesh reform plan. The, you, they can't. First of all. You, you can't order the country to do things. Second of all, the country is built on a floodplain. A floodplain means that they get hit by earthquakes, they get hit by monsoons, they get hit by everything. It's a farming area between Pakistan and India. It was never meant to be an industrial area. And therefore the buildings are not, you can't build secure buildings with fire, with sprinklers, with this and that. And uh, what it means is, their reform plan is, well, we're just going to go to Vietnam or, uh, and have the people in Vietnam or China turn the stuff out cheaper for us than we were. So they punish the people 
uh, they, they punish them because of where they live, sort of like Obama is going to punish everybody with his health care plan. If you were misfortunate enough to be an American, be living in the United States, you have to pay for the privilege of living here now. Mm -hmm. And Cameron to publish EU vote bill in, in bid to defuse party revolt. Oh yeah, he's going to lose because they're getting tired of the EU dictating things. When the e Okay, the European Union is under a stage of collapse. It's being ran totally by Merkel out of Germany because the Germans had the government to fi had the money to finance a lot of the collapses, but Merkel drained all of the finances of Germany, and now she she's basically uh, she's got her co she's got a coalition government now, which means her party will be thrown out at the next parliamentary election, and told totally, and she's gone also. She's trying to keep votes of no confidence from happening. With that's the unique thing about parliamentary government: if you lose a vote. You get thrown out of gun, and like in 30 days, they hold a new election and get rid of you. And Greek workers walk off the job to protest ban on teacher strike. Yeah, they basically now it's a socialist government banning strikes. Mm. That doesn't work. That doesn't fly well with socialism. So because it's all about workers. Okay, but put it this way: the same people that run, would run the country when it was a capitalistic country, are a dictatorship will run the country when it becomes a socialist country. The leaders, the people, the power people never move, they just change philosophies. And Venezuela's Maduro sends military to fight crime in Caracas streets. Yeah, he, he's got, which means he's, uh, he, he, he barely won election in Venezuela. And when you're sending a military in to fight corruption, it means you're, ha you're going after the people that are standing up against you. And boat carrying 100 Rohingya Muslims capsizes off Myanmar. I know, it's just, uh, it, 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 what happens is they have no standards that anybody will enforce on. I mean, I, I've seen it. I, I've been in the Philippines and seen, seen a thousand people. I was at Clark, Clark Station Clark. They put a thousand people on board a ferry designed for 400. Hmm. And pressure rises on White House over Benghazi talking points. Well, they all know it's a lie. I mean, it's getting to be, uh, okay, I watched it last night. Uh, this was the response from the supporters. Of, well, George Bush and the Republicans, and the guy with the host of the one show who happened to be a Democrat. We are not talking about George Bush and what George Bush may or may not have done, which there was no evidence to the fact that he did anything. We're talking about Barack Obama, and I have. He said. He, he said I have him in front of me. You can put him on the screen. It was changed 11 times from what the CIA said, and it was approved by the White House, the 12th version, which totally removed a terrorist thing out and, and, uh, and put in the YouTube thing, which there never was any mention of a YouTube visit uh, by the CIA, and the next day when they were interviewing Petrakis, there was no thing, it, was the, it came when the president had his talking points, there was a YouTube video. Remember, there's a guy sitting in a jail cell for violation of terms of his parole over that video, and basically he is the one that's probably going to put Obama you know, out of office. And the U.S. sends Japan currency warning as G7 meets. A currency oh, warning oh, yeah. to Japan? Well, what happens is they bought extra printing presses from the United States, and they're, 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 the, the yen is just collapsing because the, they said it looks like World War II all over again where they, the country needed to, to, to have currency so they're just printing uh, what happens is the notes get bigger and bigger and bigger when your country the, the valuation because I came from an era an absolute era where uh, where my family in Germany and in Europe would basically take wheelbarrows of money and Deutschmarks and other things into a grocery store to buy a loaf of bread. Mm. I mean, my mother and father had coupons that this coupon is worth $100. We got the coupon book somewhere, but it, that's what it was like during the Great Depression and getting, they're heading that way again. Why the IRS scandal is political gold for Republicans? Well, because the Democrats, they're basically, it happened only, it, it was aimed specifically at non-progressive um, groups that basically didn't believe in the philosophies of big government. It did not hit progressives which were left-wing liberals at all, only non-progressive independents and conservatives. This morning they said specifically if you, you, know, the, uh, if, if you were a, a conservative group it was a hundred percent that you were going to be hit under this thing. If you were an independent it was slightly under that. If you were progressive, there was zero chance that you were going to be turned down. So, mm. 
There won't be a GOP campaign in the country that doesn't use this to raise money. Oh yeah, because it's um, it's basically the money. They're they're upset at Karl Rove because he's basically bearing Hillary Clinton's presidential nomination. Oh, they are. Yeah. Well, the Republicans. Well, you, Bill O'Reilly, you can't do this. He said, I don't work for you. I don't work for Fox News. I work. I'm an independent person. Uh, you know what's it? Um, over on one of the other networks where they picked up uh, the uh, person that they fired over at Fox, yeah. and he had basically talking about on a, on on a on like CNN news about the fact that this is a scandal that's killed because he worked for the Clintons. This scandal has basically finished off Hillary, especially they're going to keep that. I mean, the whole thing is you know you know what does it really matter? That's past oh, history. Gosh. What does it really matter? That's that. That is a campaign slogan they're going to kill Oh my gosh. Yep. Top Senate, Senate Democrat, DOJ action against AP inexcusable. Yeah. 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 So, uh, 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 because what happens is these guys have all got their phone numbers listed on, okay, some of this stuff was from the, from, okay, some of it was from the White House, some of it was from the Senate chamber, some from the House chambers, and some, some of it was on Wall Street and other publications. Those terminals basically were getting phone calls and things from people, you know. What it is is that they know everybody that was off of those 20 terminals they hit who was contacting them. So oh, they know who the sources were for these reporters and editors. And it's basically, there is no, okay, they, the lawyers have been saying, well, they got some Republicans jumping on the bat. Well, this is for national security, so you can do anything. No, they can't. They, they went, they did not obey the laws. To get the to get the subpoena, they just simply did it. Then a subpoena said they could only narrowly do it. They just simply arbitrarily took 20, um, 20 AP lines in the United States and picked them at random. And surprise, as Prince Harry joins Michelle Obama for Mother's Day tea. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. You know, like a political thing with Harry. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I know. Someday I'll actually remember what I actually wrote. It takes a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That basically, if it if, if it swims like a duck, it has feathers like a duck, goes honk honk, it obviously is a duck. <laughs>